Scarborough High School. I'm Heather with What's News Scarborough, and this is the news for the week of April 24th, 2019. The English department is sponsoring the spring production of Shakespeare's uproarious comedy, Twelfth Night. Please join us in the auditorium either on Thursday, May 9th or Friday, May 10th for this special event. Both performances start at 7 p.m. and students only pay $1 admission. Adults are asked to pay 10. Tickets go on sale Monday, April 22nd. See Ms. Becker or Mr. Wesley. Seniors, what a wonderful pre-prom event, attending live Shakespeare. Attention sophomores and juniors. If you plan to attend the South Portland High School Career Fair on Wednesday, May 1st, you need to register through a link in your email. Space is limited, so check your email and register today. For more information, see Ms. Zavaznik or a member of the Student Services team. More than 80 businesses and organizations will be exhibiting from a wide variety of fields. Students will have a chance to meet with and talk to professionals about their career interests. Space is currently limited to 100 SHS sophomores and juniors. Buses depart at 10.10 a.m. and return at 11.45 a.m. on Wednesday, May 1st. For more information, contact a member of the Student Services Team or Ms. Zavaznik. Reminder to all advisories. This week is the final week of the Spring Door Decorating Contest. The contest will now end on Friday, April 26th, with the winner announced on the following Monday. It is only $5 per advisory to enter, and the winner gets donuts from the Holy Donut. Please enter your advisory to help support the Class of 2022. Attention all sophomores and juniors interested in careers in the health and medical laboratory fields. Maine Medical Center and Nordex will be hosting a health career fair on the night of May 22nd at Scarborough High School. This is a unique opportunity to meet with healthcare professionals such as physicians assistants, nurses, phlebotomists, and medical lab professionals in an interactive format. Please check your school email to register. Space is limited and the deadline for registration is May 13th. With any questions or if you would like to know more information, feel free to contact Mrs. Zavaznik. Hello, it's Ethan, and this is the weather for the week. Today is 55 and cloudy with a low of 39 degrees. This weekend looks dreary with the constant showers all throughout Friday and Saturday with a light sprinkle on Sunday. Next week looks similar with highs of 50s and cloudy skies. The Scarborough boys baseball team had their first game Wednesday, April 17th against Bonnie Eagle. It was a good game with Scarborough pulling it together in the end, winning in extra innings. Meanwhile, the girls softball team cruised by Bonnie Eagle getting an easy 14-3 win. In New England sports, the Boston Celtics swept the Indiana Pacers in the first round of the NBA playoffs and will go on to play the Milwaukee Bucks. More information on Boston sports, the Bruins took it to Game 7 at the TD Garden and closed it out 5-1. They will move on to play the Columbus Blue Jackets in the second round. I'm Brandon Stalker and this has been Scarborough Sports News. Since 2011, vaping has exponentially increased among high schoolers in the United States. Over one in five students within the United States, um, according to the CDC, three million across the country. However, this is, was not always the case. In 2011, only about 200,020 vaped in the United States. That was 
1.5%. However, the percentage nowadays is around 20. What led you to start vaping? It looked cool. Uh, how much money do you think you spent in the past couple months on vaping? Thousands. Uh, how old were you when you uh, first started vaping? Young enough. Uh, are you addicted, would you say? Yeah. Uh, how long did it take you to get addicted? First buzz. Uh, have you ever been caught vaping? I mean, not not by Mr. Buck. <laughs> uh, do you think vaping is a good alternative to essentially smoking cigs? Like, yeah, like if for adults, sorry, for adults and stuff, like if they're if they're smoking, like it's, it's better. Cause it's like, yeah, whatever. Do you think it's made nicotine more popular in general? Yeah. All right, that's all. Thank you. Uh, so, do you vape? Uh, where do you usually see people vaping in school? Usually it would be in the bathroom. Uh, how has students vaping affected your life here at school? I feel like it hasn't affected it. Just, you know, can't really go to the bathroom. Uh, do you think it's a major problem in school? Yes, because we have more time. All right, thank you. This has been What's News Scarborough. I'm your host, Heather. Thank you for watching and tune in next week.